hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a one-page website with Canva. First, you need to go onto Canva and create an account. Once you have done that, right below the search bar, you're going to see the option Websites. You're going to tap on that. Once you have done that, you can see the different options that you have. You can choose whether you're creating a business website, a portfolio website, an event website, any one of these options you can select. So let's say for example, I were to select general website. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a blank page. And all you'll need to do now, if you would like to use one of their preloaded templates, you can go over to the left-hand menu option. And you could tap at the search bar right here and you could type in landing page if you want. And you can see landing page website examples right here. Keep in mind that majority of the landing page examples has 8 pages. But if you see anyone that you like, you can select that. But what I would recommend you do right where you see layouts right here in the top left hand corner, you can select that. After selecting it, you can see different options that you can choose from. So you can see the different options right here that you could use to create a stunning one-page website using Canva. So let's say, for example, I want to use, let's say, this one. All I would need to do is tap on it. After I have tapped on it, you can see that it has been added right there. Now all I would need to do is edit the text right here. So for example, I let's say I'm selling a MacBook or I'm promoting something that has to do with Apple MacBook. I could simply tap right here and I could type in Apple Mac just for example sake. Then after doing that, you can change the font style if you want by selecting the text box and tapping right where you see Open Sans. And you from there, you can select a font style that you would like to use. Let's say I want to use this font style and I'm going to change the size of the font. I'm going to increase the font size to, for example, 56. After doing that, you can tap on the text box and you could type out your text right here. Once you have done that, you can create your call to action. So, for example, let's say I want to type in by now. After doing that, you can edit the color of the button by selecting the button. Then from there, you can tap on the button color at the top left hand corner right here. And let's say I would like to change it to a light yellow. After doing that, I'm going to change the color of the text. So I'm going to select the text right there and I'm going to select the capital A and I'm going to change the text to black. And I'm also going to increase the text size to 14, for example, and I'm going to bold it. You can see it right there. And now to make it clickable, all you'll need to do is simply select the text or you can select the button. Then you'll see the link icon appear and you can tap on that. After you have done that, you could paste in your link right there. Then you'll tap on done. And now when it comes on to editing the image from here, you could simply drag and place whatever you would want in this section. So for example, let's say I want to add a picture of a dog on the screen right there. All that I would need to do, for example, this one, you can see it right there. And then from there, I can select to change the background color. So you can tap here. You can change the background color or you could upload a photo or video for the background. So for example, let's say we were to go over to elements. Then from there, let's say, for example, I were to type in pets. After typing in pets, I'm going to select videos. Then once you have selected videos, you can see some copyright free videos that you can use. And after doing that, let's say I were to drag and place this. You can see how it looks right there. And that is the video. And then I can tap on playback right here. After selecting playback, you can see the option play automatically and I select that. You can also increase the speed and if you would like it to play on repeat, you can toggle that on also. So you could toggle on, play on repeat. So once you have created your website, this video will always be playing in the background. Now if for example sake I were to publish it or tap on preview, you will see how it looks. So let me do that real quick. 
so you can see it right there it automatically starts playing in the background and it continues playing on repeat as you can see right there so that is how you could set a video as your background if you want and by the way all you will need to do is tap on publish in the top right hand corner then from there you will be provided with a free url and you, you will simply tap on publish once more and that's it if it is a case that you would like to add another page you could tap on add page right at the bottom right there then from there again you could go over to the top left hand corner and tap on design then from there you can choose a second page so you could scroll down and you can choose a second page if you want hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe